Wayne McGregor with Target Tracker, and I want to show you a couple different exercises that we do when we're training an entire law enforcement division. Uh, if you look at the targets here, one, two, three, four, five, okay, we can train five guys at the same time. And how we do that is this exercise right here is basically the targets are going to move downfield like this, and also we have another setup exactly the same where we'll take the target, flip it around like so, and practice flanking. So I got to shoot over here to avoid shooting my partner or an innocent civilian, and same over here. So you know you want to come down, around and up, down, around and up. Okay. As you work on those drills, it'll actually build your muscle memory and teach your brain. So you get to a point where it's just like driving your car. You jump in, you stick the keys in the ignition, throw it, drive, and you're backing out without thinking about it. So when you practice these planking drills, it all gets ramped up when everything starts moving. So I'm going to give you a little idea of how we're going to move these to show you. And we'll have our cameraman operate the camera, but we'll give you an idea. The unit itself is basically going to go The unit itself is basically going to go just like this. When you're in the field, I'll show you a couple tips. Here's what we do, real simple. Let me think to kind of you know, give you a reference when you're operating the unit is you can set a two by four up here, set one back here. Now keep in mind, you can run this drill virtually all day long because our circuits are regenerative. So when it's slowing down, going forward, and when it's backing up, it's charging the battery. So you can oscillate this exercise almost all day. So let me give you kind of a, a, a brief idea of that. So you move it like this at however speed you want to do it at. Back in between these two blockers right here, just to give you a gauge. of the moving target. See, now we'll have one down range as well, so that's the one you'll be shooting at as you're flanking these targets right here. So let me just give you a short example of that, and then uh, obviously uh, I haven't done this uh, since uh, last summer, so I need some practice as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this red one right here as my partner. Um, you know, you can envision another one of these units down range. Uh, it'll give you an idea. So I'll be back here. Go ahead and move the unit. And I'll practice coming up, sweeping down, coming up, sweeping down, coming up. Notice I'm pivoting my feet and I'm moving while I'm going to address the targets downrange. So this is a really good exercise. Um, and it'll help um, if, if you shoot a lot on stationary targets, it'll help broaden your sight of vision. Um, a lot of times uh, stationary targets will actually hinder you when it comes to tunnel vision. So, you know, when you have something that's always catching your eye and your peripheral as you're shooting, it's going to broaden your field of vision and give you a better sense of situational awareness. I'm Wayne McGregor with Target Tracker, and there's our tip for the day.